<laughs> Good day, humans. <clears throat> what does been here back in the arena after a vacation from uh, Magic the Gathering? I still do play, but uh, I've been busy with uh, work and work and a couple of more works. But anyway, I'm back with, of course, another set of a control deck. I've always been fond of control decks, and yes, this is not an F deck. It is an, this is my own brew. Home brewed from my head, from my head, from my brain. So, uh, before I get into the deck build, uh, some beautiful funky words for all you demons and monsters out there. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support this channel. Comment down below for any suggestions on how to improve this deck or suggest a build you want me to feature. Don't forget to share this to your friends who are into Magic the Gathering. And if you are into dark art and poetry, visit my website poetdustbin.com. And we're back. Yes, this is an Esper deck and I called it an imbecile deck. You know why? Because it, its main purpose is to have the opponents submit to us or piss them off. You know, just just that bit of smiley face when you get to win using this deck. It's not perfect. It's still a control deck. It's not fast. So it's gonna be boring something like that so like i always do with my deck build i uh, subdivide them into columns so you can actually see how it works and yeah let's get on with the uh composition of this deck okay so for this column we have we have no creatures okay this is a creatureless deck please the main purpose of this deck is not to attack. Piss off your opponent. Okay. So we have uh, tons of uh, removals here. And why is this here? This is not. I'm just gonna put it here. Something like that. Okay. So we got two copies of Fateful Absence. <clears throat> Destroy target creature or planeswalker. Instant. We also have the new um, Anoint with Affliction. A very effective card. <clears throat> It exiles target creature if it has uh, mana three or less. But when your opponent is corrupted, meaning it already have three or more poison counters, you know, in them, you get to exile any creature with uh, any amount of mana cost. Okay, and of course we have go for the throat. Love this card, but the only drawback of this card you cannot target uh, a, an artifact creature. Okay, so non artifact creature destroy. It's like the, uh, the old days, the terror card. And we have a shoulders edict. Uh, you know, my, my, my uh, belief, my faith on this card actually is like 50 50, but it's useful in some ways. Uh, you get to choose one from the other, uh, either the opponent sacrifice an untoken creature, or they sacrifice a token creature, or they sacrifice. A planeswalker it's an instant card that's why i got to choose it and that's why i chose it and it's only two to cast and we have of course march of the wretched sorrow uh, this one helps when you really low in life and you get and you really need to get you know to gain life so it's an instant card you know this um as an additional cost to cast a spell you may exile any number of black cards since we have you know, some black cards in our deck um uh, it deals X damage to target creature or planeswalker and you gain X life. Okay, you gain X life. It's more of a drain life that doesn't, you know, doesn't target an opponent, just targets creatures and planeswalkers. And of course, we have three copies of negate just in case that you need it. Counter spell. And for our uh, draw cards, you know, we only have uh, a couple of draw cards here, but a very effective and it, it gives us a lot of options here. So we have uh, four copies of Sunset Traveler. It doesn't just let you draw a card. It also uh, will create uh, two human 1-1 tokens. 
and you also get the game for life but you have to actually satisfy some of the conditions inside the uh, cards like if an opponent has more life than you you gain for life uh, if an opponent controls more creatures than you you create two one one white human creature tokens and if an opponent has more cards in hand than you you get to draw a card and of course we have memory deluge need not explain this it's been used in a lot of decks you know and we have silver scrutiny too you get to it's a sorcery but acts like uh, an instant when it's, uh, when it's the turn of your opponent and you get to use it for only three i mean five mana and you get to only satisfy three excess like three or less and you draw x cards okay and of course my deck this deck this esper deck will not be complete without a mass removal and no we don't have a mass removal we have tons of mass removals here we had three copies of path of peril you know this uh you pay three destroy uh all the creatures under two mana to cast but when you try to pay uh when you pay uh the cleave cost it destroys all creatures we have depopulate uh it destroys all creatures but each player has a multicolored uh, creature on board they get to draw a card and of course we have my favorite white uh removal uh, mass removal farewell you get to choose one or more exile all artifacts all creatures all enchantments all graveyards it just doesn't target planeswalkers and lands okay and of course this one's a new one from pyrexia we have a uh, white sun's twilight it's a sorcery but it's really nifty you know you gain x life you pay x then two white mana but you also get to create x one one colorless uh might artifact creature tokens with toxic one but uh, that's not all when x is five or more you get to destroy all other creatures yummy right oh, I, love, I love using this deck and of course we have our vips yes we have tons of vips actually you have four vips here total eight but two copies of each we have two copies of the wandering emperor two copies of kaito a dancing shadow this one's a new one so i'm gonna discuss it you know whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to a player you may stop that you may actually uh, return uh them to owner's hands but if you do you may activate the loyal abilities twice uh twice you know like when you attack and you get to deal damage you return that creature and you get to use you get to draw twice or you get to target two creatures using the plus one ability or you get to create a, a two colorless drone artifact creatures if it has a lot of loyalties left you can do that too and of course we have Vraska the betrayal sting one of my favorite planeswalker in black it's complicated meaning you can use life or the or black mana to cast a spell but when you use life uh, uh it, it comes down it enters the battlefield with less loyalty on it so the ability minus uh, zero you get to draw a card and you lose one life and you proliferate the minus two you get to target uh, come on you target target creature becomes a treasure artifact with a you know useless piece of shit something like that and of course uh i never use a minus nine so just read it and of course we have kaya the intangible slayer this one's one of the killer option here this one is one of the uh win con it's hex proof it is very expensive seven to cost but it has uh this ability to plus two each opponent loses three life and you gain three life and you also get to exile target creature enchantment and you get to create a copy of that right you get to exile let's say shouldered you get a copy of shouldered it becomes a one one spirit creature with flying you know aside from other etc other types and of course we have these lands uh, uh you know these lands duels and tri lands the only one that's special here is my rex that creates uh <clears throat> artifact uh, pyrection might with toxic one when you pay three and of course the other one that i like the, the, the other ability that i like here is that when you just lay it down on the battlefield the first time you get to use it to create a uh, uh to create a, a mana of any color i think that's it i've been 
boring you with all this uh, explanation stuff so let's get it on with the freaking game now 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 Aswed boys Aswed yeah I go first again hallelujah Oh, enchantment deck, if I'm not mistaken. Or. Yeah, there you go. Wait, and this deck is really boring sometimes, but it's, uh, it's the fun of it. One Luna is better than uh, that's not gonna do much damage, they always gain life. Gala greeters, all right. I don't like you. Mm, awesome. Yeah, that's okay with me. this one let's find something let's uh, go for the throat oh let's kill this first Sweet. There you go.
Oh my god, that is just not the plan. is fun yeah. right awesome We need a white one, so I'm gonna destroy it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. What's that? <laughs> Ay, hindi nga pala. You can't use it, apparently. Just let it go. Oh, look at that! Uh, a 
fine. Go and minus one. Be just vigilance. No, it's not. more than Phyrexia. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's how it works. Awesome. Next game, please. Forgot to click start recording. Awesome. Ooh, look at that. Oh my god. Oh, oh come on. <clears throat> okay. It's just a tree tree creature. <sighs> Need to kill that one.
<coughs> Vraska is back. I hate playing with this. Oh my god, look at that. That's really. That's really fucked up. Come on. That guy is a shithead, man. Oh my good lord. I'm just gonna turn it into a uh, artifact or something, but no! To taste? No, it's not That's not good. We have another one here, we have another one here. Oh, okay. So, no problem with that. <clears throat> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven to pass. Uh -huh. <coughs> Let's draw a card and proliferate. Doesn't matter. Hit read the head. Oh, it's supposed to read the head. Ooh. Just attack first. Okay.
You should have put down the other one so you could have put down the Ah, good lord. <clears throat> put down the big one, the big one, the big one. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we had four. What casualty is
<laughs> it was a long game, but uh, it's freaking worth it, man. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Next game, please, dipshit. Alright, next game against the demons of order. One goes first. We have uh, really not a good start here. This is one. Oh, come on, another control deck against me. What the hell? Here we go boys, here we go. <laughs> gotcha boys gotcha yeah I think uh, we'll settle for that that's it for the day I don't want to make this whole VJ thing uh, long so outro well I think that's it for the day um, it's been a nice set of gameplays and um, thank you for um, spending your time watching this video and hopefully you learn something from this place and it's really fun to piss off your opponent when you're using a control deck they're fun they're fun especially when you actually do it yourself uh i think that's it uh thank you for watching please support the channel and don't forget to subscribe like and comment down below if you like me to feature another type of deck and all and don't forget to visit my website poeticcusmin.com and also support my wife's channel which is House of Basil Nuts if you're into food and something like that right here on YouTube um, yeah well that's it that's it you monsters um, see you on the next video uh, sayonara humans <laughs>